Okay then my friends, so now we have this kind of set up with our draw and we can go between these two pages, the home and the about screen. Now at the minute we have to kind of slide that out to see it and a user might not necessarily know about that. Instead what I'd like is a little icon in the top left over here somewhere so that when we click it on either the home screen or the about screen that opens the draw instead of us just having to swipe like that which is a bit tricky, okay? So what we're going to do to accomplish this is our own header components. We'll create a whole component for the header, which is going to replace the content inside here. Now, currently, what we're doing is just passing in a title right here into the navigation options. But instead, we're going to replace this with a whole component. So first of all, let's create the component. And to do that, I'm going to place it in a new folder called shared so this shared folder is going to contain anything that might be shared between different files common components and the header is one of those because we're going to use it in the about stack and also in the home stack so let me create a new file now called header.js and inside the header the first thing i want to do is just paste in a few imports so these things here are just react and style sheet text and view which we're going to use to make up our component and also material icons because we're going to use material icons for the little icon in the top left the burgenav so first of all down here let's create the component export default and it's a function the function is header and inside we need to return some jsx okay so first of all we'll return a view and we'll apply styles to these as we go forward and then just create the style sheet at the end. So the styles are going to be styles.header and this should be style not styles. And then inside that view, we'll now do another view. And this is going to contain the text. And this text is going to have a style prop. And the style is going to be styles.header text. Now up here, I want to create now some kind of icon for the menu. So the burger have icon. So that's what we're gonna place here in the future. For now, we'll just leave it. Okay, so now we have this basic component. We can go ahead and create the styles. So const styles is equal to style sheet and then dot create, pass in an object and now let's create those styles. So first of all, the header itself, which is the view surrounding all of the header and that is going to have a width of 100%. It's also going to have a height, oops, yeah, that's right, of 100%. So that means it's going to fill up all of the default header that the stack navigator gives us. Remember, we get this by default. So we're not replacing the whole header here. We already have that, and we specified a height for that. If we go to the home stack, for example, we can see down here, we have the header style and the height is 60 pixels. So that comes as standard. All we're doing is placing something inside it, this thing. And we're saying that this view should take up 100% of the width and 100% of the height of that default header that we get. Okay, so the flex direction now is going to be row because we're going to have things going from left to right in this at some point probably. All right, so now I want to align items to the center. And remember, align items works in the cross axis direction. Now, this right here is the main axis. So align items works in the column direction. That means that whatever we place inside this right here is gonna be centered vertically. And we're gonna do the same thing for the justify content property. And that is gonna be centered as well. So it appears centrally, horizontally as well. Okay. So we have those styles now. Let's do the header text. So what I'm going to do is actually just copy this from my repo and paste it in and go through these. So header text, then we have a font weight of bold, font size of 20, a color of 333, which is a deep gray, and letter spacing of one. So between the letters, it just adds one pixel of space. That's all it does. Okay, so that's the basic header component for now. Very simple, we're just showing the header text for now, except there's no text in here. So let's just output game zone for now. And what I need to do is figure out a way to show this header component instead of just showing the text which we see up here. 
So the way we can do that is by going to the home stack, first of all, and right now we have this title property on both of these two different screens. Now I'm only gonna concern myself with the home screen right here and also the about screen, okay? We don't need to have the header components on the review detail screen because we're gonna keep that as it is and we're gonna have this little arrow at the top. We don't wanna replace any of that. So we're just making a custom header component for the home screen and the about screen where we need that little icon to open the menu in the top left. The first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of these comments because they're just in the way a little bit. And now instead of just placing a title in the home screen header like this, instead what I want to do is replace this with the whole header component. Now the first thing I need to do to do this is import a few things. I need to import the header, so import header from, and it's dot dot to come out of the routes folder, then into shared, then I want the header. So we've imported the header component. The next thing I need to import is React because if we're gonna render some kind of component here, we need the React library to help us do that. So import React from React, okay. So we have those two things imported. Now essentially what I'd like to do is return some kind of component here. So a function, right, that returns a header component the thing we just imported. Now, we can't do this because the title expects a string, not a function that returns a component, but a string. But what we can do is replace this title prop with a different prop, and that prop is header title. So this can be a function which can return a component. So we've got rid of the title prop. We no longer just want to put a string up here and instead we replace that with a header title. That can take a function as a value which returns a component, the header component we just created. So now if I save this, I'm going to check it out over here, cross my fingers and hope this works. And now we can see the new title or the new header because it's in the center now, okay? So this here is this component right here and I can demo that by giving this a background color. So let's say background color is now gonna be, I don't know, red and save that. And we should see a red block up here in the header now. Okay, cool. So now we have this component, which is the header. We also want to apply this header to the about screen because at the minute it's not gonna work. If I bring out the navigation and go to about, then we still get the default header up there. So now I'm gonna to go to the about stack. In fact, let me just copy these imports. Go to the about stack and paste those in because we need them in here as well. Then I'm gonna replace this with header title, which is a function, and that function returns the header component. So save this now, and hopefully when we go to the about screen now, it is gonna show that custom header again. So zoom out the draw go to about and now we see the custom header awesome so we're halfway there the next thing we need to do is add an icon over here which when pressed opens up this menu yeah so let's do that let's now go to the header again and to do that we need to use material icons now we already imported material icons at the top so all we need to do is place an icon right here so let us do a material icons component and in here, the name of this component is gonna be menu. I found this on the Expo docs. Remember I showed you the website before where we could search for different icons and I found this from there. So that is the name of the icon. Uh, the size is gonna be a little bit bigger than the default size, I'll say about 28. And then we also need an on press handler and we'll create a function to do this in a second. I'm also gonna give this a style property, so style is equal to styles dots icon. Okay, so let's create some kind of on press handler. So up here, I'm gonna create a constant and that's called open menu since that's what it's gonna do. We could call this press handler if you want to, it really doesn't matter. Um, it's gonna do the same thing inside. Don't know what this is. Okay, so inside this function, we need to use the navigation object, which we've seen before, right? We've seen this to navigate to different screens in the app. We're using the same navigation object here and we use a method on that called open draw. 
Now, that opens up this drawer right here, but there is a problem with this at the minute. And that problem is that we don't have access to this navigation object inside this component. We don't get it by default inside this component. Remember, we only get access to this object inside components that are registered as screens inside our navigation stacks. So we don't get it in the header because this is not a screen. Instead, we need to figure out a way to pass that in. And we're gonna do that in a second. Before we do that, let me actually just comment this out and we're gonna style up this icon down here. So let's go down here and say icon. And this is gonna be on the very left. Now I'm gonna give this a position of absolute so that we can position it on the very left. And then from the left, it's gonna be 16 pixels. Let me just save this so we can see how it looks. And okay, we can't do that yet because something's not quite working. Okay, so it's the on press handler we have here. We need to actually pass in this function to it because it's empty at the minute, even though the function's not doing anything. Let's save that. Hopefully now we should see that icon. And there it is. And it should also be on the about screen as well. There it is. Now at the minute, it's not doing anything because like I said, this open menu function is not currently doing anything. And we need a way to figure out how to bring in this navigation object into the header. Now, the way we can do that is by this right here being a function which returns this object instead of it just being an object directly. And you'll see exactly why we do that in a second. For now, let me just grab this. And what I'm gonna do is make this into a function, like so, and that is gonna return an object, the object we just copied, this thing right here, okay? Now, this function can now take in the navigation object. We can destructure it from the value that we automatically get passed into this function. So when navigation options is a function as a value, it automatically gets access to this. And now we have that navigation object, we can pass it in as a prop to the header component. So I can say the navigation is equal to the navigation object, okay? So now we've done that, let me also copy this and go to the about stack as well, and we'll place it in there, okay? So same again, the value of navigation options is now a function. We can destructure the navigation object from the value automatically passed into this function. And then we can return this object with the header title and pass in the navigation as a prop. So now we have that sorted, we can now accept the navigation in here. So it's on the props, which we can destructure from. So navigation like so. And now this thing should work. So let me save that and We'll preview this on the right in a second. So now when I click this, it should run this function, use the navigation object to open the drawer. Try that, awesome, works. And try that again, and it works. Now if we go to the other screens, there are a few details. We don't get that header because we've not replaced that header with a custom component. Instead, we still get the arrow, so that still works. It's just these two headers that we've replaced. Now there's one more little thing I want to do, and that is the title up here. It's the same on both screens at the minute. I want to change that so that this shows game zone and this one shows about. Now, how do we do that? Because we're hard coding that in right here. Well, again, what we could do is pass in another prop. So for the home screen, the title could be game zone. We want that to be the title. And if I copy this and go to the about stack we can paste that in there but change it to about game zone makes sense so now we're passing in a title prop as well so we can extract that up here like so and the title can be output dynamically right here okay so now if we save we should get a dynamic title on both of those two different screens well, let's hold our breath and hope there we go, about game zone and game zone, awesome. So now we have our custom header sorted. We are gonna add more to this in the future to make it look a bit better. But for now, I want to move on and start to work on the 
design of this bit down here because currently it doesn't look great and to do that we're going to create a custom card component. 